When I was young, I used to dream I would become a dancer, but not any kind of dancer. A danseuse étoile, which means the principal dancer of those big companies with classical repertoire. I would literally dream about it. I would close my eyes and see myself on stage, a huge and empty stage. And although I couldn't see it because of the lights, I knew that the audience was present and was amazed by my incredible talent. Now, your absence, this is in my pain, in my memory of your absence. To die is to feed your presence in your memory. I'm still waiting, waiting, wait. I actually tried to learn ballet when I was nine or ten, but I soon discovered that I hadn't have the um, talent, passion. It seemed very different from what I imagined and there was absolutely no glamour in learning the basic positions. And we actually had to shave our armpits for a public presentation at the end of the year. It was the first time I shaved any part of my body, so it was quite traumatic experience. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in the lucidity of my capacity and right to choose. Since I was a kid, I wish that I had the capacity to move out of my body. I always like music. All my body trembles. But just a few years ago, I really could start to listen to music. With puberty and young adulthood came another kind of stage, the nightclub. My pink dreams of ballet were fast substituted for dark and leathery rock and metal sounds, and the epitome of dance became for me jumping to the sound of battery and guitars. And I was fortunate to have grown fond of alternative music because it soon became obvious that I had no skills whatsoever in movement and dancing of any kind. Jumping was the best of my ability on stage. So instead I became an actor. My body is a constellation. And I'm stuck in the thought that every human being has always the capacity to choose. Waiting. White. After the bath, after sunset, after washing, you stay. You do not disappear because I am stained, never clean. Bleach. It run. It makes me run. Sheep eyes, evil and dead. Always. It's like a sheet of wood. As the last stain in the tablecloth where we ate. I can't remember in which day of my life it was. I know that I was not 20 years old. I know that I was not 25 years old. I am now older than that. But one day, somehow, that sentence punched me in the face and I had to walk. On that day, I walked for hours. 
I got very tired, but I needed that to stop my thinking. Stay. We stayed. Like tennis in a corner at the end of the day. To air. Our dirty dishes. Dinner as the dust on the books. All back in pain because of the weight. In the clouds. It's him. It's me. It's us. She. I am a person who needs to break the body to stop the thinking, whatever that means. Since that day I have to urge to walk, to think <laughs> while I'm walking, to think in motion, to feel the need of choosing to put one feet in front of another, to feel my blood, to feel, to feel my blood bumping through through my veins Waiting. when I get home. Wait. Since that day my constellation has moved. Since that day my head is in my feet. Since that day I started to search. How old was I? When did that happen? Happened. Happened. Maybe it doesn't 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 matter. Maybe it doesn't matter. On that day I was not 35 years old. I was not 41 years old. I was not old. I was not young. I was not whatever I was supposed to be. One day. On that day. I felt the animal. So instead I became an actress. Well, at least for a while. When I dance, fuck it. All move, or die, or kill, I can sit, nothing makes sense.